Welcome to St. Paul's Cathedral in San Diego. Bienvenidos a la Catedral de San Pablo en San Diego, in nuestra comunidad virtual. My name is Penny Bridges, and as Dean, it's my joy to welcome you, whoever you are and wherever you find yourself in the journey of faith. Soy Penny Bridges, la Deana o Pastora de la Catedral. Please use the comments on Facebook Live or YouTube to tell us about celebrations and prayer requests or to ask a question about the service or just to say hello. Por favor, en el comentario escribe sus peticiones o noticias. Si vas a celebrar un cumpleaños o aniversario esta semana, que Dios le bendiga. It's our habit to say a prayer for those who are celebrating birthdays or anniversaries in the week ahead. So let us pray. Watch over your children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts, may your peace, which passes understanding, abide all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Esperamos empezar una misa en español en persona, o presencial, en la catedral el 23 de mayo, el domingo de Pentecostés. Por favor, inviten a sus amigos y vecinos. Our alternative Thursday services are now including communion at 6 p.m. every Thursday, taking place in the Fifth Avenue Courtyard. The 10.30 service this morning is being viewed both by people at home and by the in-person group gathered in the Great Hall. The in-person group will process into the cathedral after the sermon for the Eucharist. Those of you watching at home will enjoy the rest of the morning prayer service. We received revised guidelines for in-person activities from the bishop this week, and our regathering task force has been hard at work discerning our next steps. And I have some big news. We no longer have to ask you to pre-register for services or to give your contact information upon arrival at church. Starting next week, May 16th, the 10.30 service will be entirely in the cathedral. It will be a standard Eucharist service with organ and vocal quartet, and it will be live streamed and recorded. We will no longer have a pre-recorded morning prayer service. The 8 o'clock a.m. service will continue online on Zoom for now. Starting May 23rd, the 1 p.m. Spanish service will be in the cathedral in person with no broadcast element. Also starting next week, you may view the 9 a.m. forum on the big screen in the Great Hall. In a few weeks, we hope to have the ability for you to actively participate in the forum, either at home or at church. Also starting next week, the long-running Deep Dive Bible Study will return at 9 a.m., meeting in the music office on the second floor. This group is operating on the assumption that all participants have been fully vaccinated. These are big steps for our staff and leadership to take, and we look forward to your feedback. Please continue to wear your mask and remain socially distanced. Next Saturday, our diocese is participating in a virtual version of Called to the Wall, our annual sacramental pilgrimage and recognition of the faith that connects us with our neighbours in Tijuana. You can sign up for this event through the weekly email. Next Sunday's 5 p.m. service will be a rebroadcast of Easter lessons and carols from a prior year. The cathedral office is now open Monday to Friday and the cathedral itself is open for walk-in visitors on Thursday afternoons. If you'd like to spend some quiet time in the cathedral at other times, just stop by the office when it's open and someone will let you in. And now let us gather to worship.
If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to thee, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to thee are both alike. O Lord, open thou our lips. O God, make speed to save us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Praise ye the Lord.
A reading from the book of Ezekiel. At the end of seven days, the word of the Lord came to me. Mortal, I have made you a sentinel for the house of Israel. Wherever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give them no warning, or speak to warn the wicked from their wicked way in order to save their life, those wicked persons shall die for their iniquity, but their blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked, and they do not turn away from their wickedness or from their wicked way, they shall die for their iniquity, but you will have saved your life. Again, if the righteous turn from their righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before them, they shall die. Because you have not warned them, they shall die for their sin, and their righteous deeds that they have done shall not be remembered. But their blood I will require at your hand. If, however, you warn the righteous not to sin, and they do not sin, they shall surely live because they took warning, and you will have saved your life. Then the hand of the Lord was upon me there, and he said to me, Rise up, go out into the valley, and there I will speak with you. So I rose up and went out into the valley, and the glory of the Lord stood there, like the glory that I had seen by the river Chebar, and I fell on my face. The Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet, and he spoke with me and said to me, Go, shut yourself inside your house. As for you, mortal, cords shall be placed on you, and you shall be bound with them, so that you cannot go out among the people. And I will make your tongue cling to the roof of your mouth, so that you shall be speechless and unable to reprove them, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with you, I will open your mouth, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Let those who will hear, hear. Let those who refuse to hear, refuse. For they are a rebellious house. Here ends the reading.
reading from the book of Hebrews. You have not come to something that can be touched, a blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempest and the sound of a trumpet and a voice whose words made the hearers beg that not another word be spoken to them. For they could not endure the order that was given, if even an animal touches the mountain, it shall be stoned to death. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable angels in festal gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse the one who is speaking, for if they did not escape when they refused the one who warned them on earth, how much less we will escape if we reject the one who warns from heaven. At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, Yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heaven. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of what is shaken, that is, created things, so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us give thanks by which we offer to God an acceptable worship with reverence and awe. For indeed, our God is a consuming fire. Here ends the reading.
I believe in God. with righteousness. O Lord, save thy people. And give peace in our time, O Lord. God, make clean our hearts within us. Lord God, whose Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, triumphed over the powers of death and prepared for us our place in the new Jerusalem, Grant that we, who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, may praise thee in that city of which he is the light, and where he liveth and reigneth forever and ever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, given to thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of all enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work, or watch, or weep this night. 
and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for thy love's sake.
Let us pray. Almighty God, whose loving hand hath given us all that we possess, grant us grace that we may honor thee with our substance, and remembering the account which we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of thy bounty, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And for this very special day for mothers and mothers alike, Almighty God, we entrust all those who are dear to us, especially mothers, thy never-failing care and love for this life and the life to come, knowing that thou art doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you this day and remain with you always.